or I had to hide it from the general public. I keep it open. I tell people what I'm doing up front. My license plate says RV life on it. Look, if I can't park somewhere for a day and leave my door open while I'm cooking dinner, if I can't do that, I don't want to live like this. If I have to look around at night to see if anyone's looking at me before I get in my Acme plumbing van at night and close the door behind me and hope no one saw me, I wouldn't do this lifestyle. That's no way to live. That's the opposite of what I, I do to promote this lifestyle. You should never have to hide it. And you won't have to hide it if you don't look like a creep. And let me tell you something. The more you try to be stealth, the more you... <coughs> if you climb into your unmarked van at night or your plumbing van or whatever, late at night, somebody will see you eventually. It happens to all of them. And then they complain that they're getting hassled for living in their van or told to move on. Look, if I was a homeowner and I saw a plumbing van parked down the block and a light on inside or some guy getting in it, closing the door behind him and not getting out of the van, you're damn right so I call the police because that's creepy. And you know what? Not only are you not stealth to residents, you're now pissing off the police because you're trying to hide something. If you're not open about it and you're obviously trying to deceive people by putting a fake company on the side of your van and you're sleeping in it or cooking dinner in it <coughs> and you get caught and you will one day now you're deceiving you're deceiving the population and you're deceiving the police and that just looks bad from everyone whereas I've never had police really knock on my door but when they do it's more of a handshake and a hey cool van how long have you been living like this? They just want to chat because I'm open about it. I've had neighbors come up to ask me for stickers. I've had people come up who have no idea who I am, never seen my YouTube channel. They just think the van is cool and they want to see inside and they're asking questions about water, solar panels, people that live in the neighborhoods. Nobody cares because I don't hide it, because I'm open about it and because I'm not trying to deceive them. I'm telling you, being open about it, loud and proud about living this way, is the best kind of stealth there is. Now one of the responses I get when I talk about this from people in other cities sometimes is, oh well, it must be because you can get away with it in Canada or Vancouver. It's not like that where I live or in certain city or country. It's different where I live. No, it's not. There is no shortage of people in Vancouver who are living in stealth vans who think they have to be stealth just like you in other cities, in Canada, USA, you name it. <coughs> and then there are people like me who are open, open about it and move around every single day, never squat, are always respectful, and nobody cares because we're, we're not creeping anyone out. If you look at my van and it says RV life on the license plate, and I have my YouTube channel website plastered across the side, Obviously, everyone's going to go, oh, hey, cool, look, that guy, he lives in that. <coughs> They're not going to go, well, that's creepy. Some guy just got into Acme plumbing van and shut the door and he hasn't come out for an hour. 911. Hello. It's just common sense, people. And if you're in a real bad area in a city where you can't park a camper van of any type, even if you're open about it like me and you're respectful, your vehicle looks nice, you move around every day, that's because that area is so overrun with squatters who never move their vehicles and ruin it for everyone else. But it has, no, it has nothing to do with the fact that your RV is obviously an RV or that you're obviously sleeping in your van. So, to recap, stealth doesn't really exist. And if you, if you start telling yourself that you have to be stealth, it's just a, a downward spiral because now you're living a horrible life. You gotta worry about everywhere you park it everywhere that people, now you gotta worry about people seeing you get in and out of your van. Like again, who the hell wants to live like that? I'd rent an apartment before I dealt with that. And, and then you're gonna get caught one day. You're gonna get that knock on your door at three in the morning. And now you're gonna start believing that you weren't stealth enough. When in reality, it's the complete opposite. You shouldn't have been trying to hide it. You should just be open about it and be respectful and move around every day and you'll have no problems.
it's literally the difference between somebody who is being honest and somebody who's purposely being dishonest. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, if you were a homeowner in a neighborhood and a, a van pulled up uh, where the guy's website was on the side and it was obvious that he was living in it, uh, we pulled up, you know, I mean, other than maybe taking a uh, precious parking up and it might annoy you, you know, mo most homeowners aren't gonna care about that, especially if you're just staying for a day and you leave at the mo at one day at the most, like I always tell everyone to do anyways. But then if, uh, then if a van pulls up and it's a fake FedEx van or whatever, and someone goes in it, it doesn't come out all night. I mean, as a homeowner, yeah, that's creepy. And you're trying to deceive people and you're being dishonest. So instant red flags, all you're doing is pinning a target on your back and you think you're being stealth. <laughs> what a terrible way to live. If I had to do that all the, I can't, you know what? To each their own. If you are perfectly happy, with living day to day, worried about people seeing you get in and out of your van and trying to hide from other people and from the police all the time. That's your choice. <laughs> Have at her, but it ain't my choice. I'd rather love thy neighbor and be honest. Now that doesn't mean you might not get hassled at some point. You might. So what? Move on. It's not the end of the world. You're gonna hear. You're gonna live your whole life every day, worried about being stealth, trying to hide from everything, just in case you might get hassled. Ugh. Really? I, know, I think there's there's a little bit of not everyone. I'm not gonna judge. You know, be judgmental on a group of people and generalize here. But I am speaking to thousands of people who watch my channel, so I have to generalize somewhat and there's nothing wrong with that because generally generalizations are true that's why they're called generalizations after all but I think that a lot of the hardcore stealth crowd not just the subtle ah, I'm gonna take off the logos of my van or something like that make it look like a work van that's fine but the hardcore oh my god I'm gonna make everything about being stealth a lot of them are the very very paranoid types in my experience from what I've seen like these are the types that think the man is after them all the time the man's against living in your van we need to fight back against the man I mean those types you know which is ironic because it's usually those types that uh, end up bringing that upon themselves because they're always trying to hide from the man and the man finds them and then they get upset and they think the man's after them I wasn't kidding about the cops and stickers thing at CamperCon I had two Vancouver police officers walk up and one of them asked me for a sticker. Now, if I was hiding in a plumbing van, trying to deceive people, parking in a neighborhood late at night and the cops get called, what are they gonna think of me? They've, they've already got, uh, they're, they're already gonna be angry with me because I'm trying to be dishonest to the public and to them, <laughs> obviously. Whereas with my van, if somebody comes to knock on my, if the, if the police get called on my van late at night, it's a totally different story. They're not gonna be angry at me because I'm open about what I'm doing. If it's legit, a legit complaint, or there's some problem with me parked there and they ask me to move on, it's very friendly and very civil. They're not against me, they're not after me. The man isn't coming to get me because I live in my van. <sighs> some people. That's all I gotta say about that. Well, I've met so many van dwellers across Vancouver over the years. There are thousands coming and going in this city all the time and and a lot of them in their super stealth vans and then they tell me stories of how they're getting kicked out, they're getting hassled, they're getting police called on them and they're asking me advice all the time on how to get away with it and I'm like well first of all don't lie to people. I mean one guy he, has, he literally has, I'm joking about the plumbing vans all the time, he has a, a fake plumbing company logo and a website which doesn't go anywhere written on the side of his van and then he gets caught and, and then he's telling everyone about how horrible it is and how hard it is to live in Vancouver in your van and I'm just sitting here in my obvious RV drinking a coffee with my door open and nobody cares. People see me and they go, look, that guy lives in his RV. Cool, it's like a tiny house on wheels. Oh, look, he's got solar panels. Oh, that's awesome, blah, blah, blah. They look at him and go, 
What the hell he's trying? What the hell is he trying to hide? What a creep! I don't want that in my neighborhood. My kids walk to school down the street. You know what I mean? Like, it's such simple common sense to me. Now I will admit, there's a lot of people who have stealthed their vans and uh, and they've been fine. They've had no hassles too. And that's great. Again, do what you want. Do what makes you feel most comfortable, if that's what you like. But what I'm saying is, it's unnecessary. It's completely unnecessary. You may have gotten away with your stealth van where you live in your city for God knows how many years, but you also could have gotten away with it in a van that looked like a camper and had a big sign on the side of it that says, this is my home. You can disagree with me if you want, but I've been doing this again for 18 years on and off and I've never had a problem in the same areas where other people have had problems. So I'm just telling you what works. Keep on rocking in the free world. You are watching Just Incredible TV. Want to see more? Become a patron and see exclusive content. Plus, see new Just Incredible videos before anyone on YouTube. Head over to patreon.com slash TV and keep on rocking in the free world.